Hey friends, welcome to part 171. Let us look at some more questions. So I hope by now you are already a member if you are able to see this. So this is the next question. See if you are using CloudTrail, what are you trying to do from a design perspective? With CloudTrail, you are trying to monitor the logs, monitor user activities, monitor API usage. That means you are trying to activate the traceability. You are trying to trace who logs in, when, what, what does he do, which systems he accesses. Okay, he goes to AWS Redshift. Now he goes to S3. What is he doing, man? Basically, you do everything that the UK government does, is not doing with so many protesters supporting, you know, what, you know whom. See, CloudTrail is not about serverless computer architectures. Serverless computer architectures we used for cost saving. Perform operations as a code. This we use for automation and go global in minutes. This is your, if you want to go global like Netflix and so on. But you don't have a requirement like Netflix because your prime minister is saying that be, be local, be local. Okay. So why would we go global in minutes? So option A, activate traceability is the final answer. See, this is the next question. You have EC2 instances on AWS. You can resize the capacity also. So what this question is saying is, I want to resize the compute capacity automatically. What should I do? But you should use auto scaling. Auto scaling will automatically scale up, scale down, scale up, scale down, scale up, scale down. So auto scaling would be our answer. Compute optimizer you use to optimize your AWS resources. Compute like EC2, Lambda, and so on. Optimize means that you, want, you should not waste it. That's, it. that's the purpose. But it, it will not scale up and scale down. Launch wizard. If you want to deploy third-party applications on AWS, use launch wizard. The question doesn't say so. That's why we are not using this. Nobody is talking about third-party applications. App config. It helps you with dynamic configurations to help software builders quickly, securely adjust application behavior in production environments. So it helps you with app configuration. Here we are not talking about that. Here we are talking about compute, not app. Compute, not app. So option B, auto scaling is our final answer. See, how can you access AWS services through virtual interface? What to use? See, here we are not talking about compute. Okay. And we are not talking about deploying web applications also. We are not talking about serverless compute. Okay. App stream is the last option. You can do scalable application streaming at low cost using virtual desktop services. So option C, app stream is our answer. This is a workflow for an app stream. You see these, you have installed desktop operating system. You connect to the existing networks and so on. And then you use Amazon app stream 2.0 securely. Okay. Who will use it? These are the use cases. Streaming apps. If you have streaming apps, you can use it. 3D and engineering, CAD, CAM, and etc. If you are using these applications, you can use it. Learning environments like Udemy, etc. You can use it. Plenty of use cases. So this brings us to the end of this part. Stay focused on the concepts. This is the end of this part. We will see you in the next part.